Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to discuss about how to write a Python program that is going to match a word containing Z character. Okay. So consider the input is like this. Python, a crazy programming. Okay. So you were able to find a word containing a letter Z. Yes or no? Immediately it has to identify that letter Z in the word and it has to print the found a match. Okay. So let us suppose if you consider the input as Python developers, you don't find any letter called Z in this particular string. So it has to display not found a match. Good. Just like this. So let's execute the code for this. So you can see this is the code. Since this particular concept comes under uh, regular expressions, uh, so we have to import its corresponding module called regular expression. Now, let me define a function. Name of the function is text underscore match. Okay which is taking parameter as text, which is a string. And now we are defining a pattern here. So the corresponding pattern is uh, it contain uh, any number of words before or after, okay, or both, but it should have a letter called Z in the entire string. So the moment you search the pattern, okay, we are searching the pattern inside the text. If the pattern is existing in the text, then it has to print found a match. If this particular pattern is not found in the text, then it has to go to the else block and print not found a match. Okay. So this is the description of the function called text underscore match. Now you can see the same function is called here text underscore match by passing parameter. Okay. As a string, the string is Python, a crazy programming. Okay. And we are calling the same function second time by passing another string called Python developers. Okay. So let's execute this particular code. So you can see, for the first string, Python, a crazy programming, you're able to display found a match because in this particular string, you are able to see Z. Yes or no? So Z is found in this particular string. Hence, the corresponding output will be found a match. And if you observe the second string, Python developers, which does not have any letter called Z. So this is going to display you not found a match. Okay. So for example, if I try to modify this code. Okay. Something like this. Python, a great programming. And uh, here I'll include uh, crazy developers. Okay. So let's execute this particular code and see the result. Now you can see not found a match in the first string because the letter Z is not available in this. Whereas found a match for the second function call because this particular string has got a letter called Z. Okay. So if I just remove here also, in both the strings, there is no letter called Z. Now you can expect the output as not found a match, not found a match, isn't it? Suppose if I include this letter Z in both. Okay. And execute, you can see found a match, found a match. Clear? So this is as simple as this. If you're trying to work for another letter, you have to modify this particular pattern. So if I'm planning to see for a letter called a capital P, 
okay so then execute this code you will get again found a match found a match because in both these uh, strings you are able to see capital letter p yes or no suppose if i modify this to capital d then the result will be not found a match because in the first string there is no letter called a capital d but in the second string there is a capital letter called d present yes or no in the word developers okay so it is going to check word by word in the entire pattern and uh, it will identify if this letter d is available okay so coming to the original program i'm going back and modifying this to z and you can see the result here the moment you remove z you will get the result as not found a match yes or no so as simple as this here